All right, let's do it. January 25th. It is Monday. Going over a lot of stocks today. Um, lovely small caps. Just a side note as I start this. Uh, 5.12 Eastern Time. East Coast. METX. I've pointed out. Check my videos. Go over my YouTube and look. You can see maybe in the thumbnail it'll say METX. I've called this. This is another one. It's going to break. The way this market is, it's almost like 99%. I'm sure this will break. Yeah, do your own research. You had a move here to 175. You have a gap here. Look at it. Look at the volume here. It's accumulation in volume. This thing's grinding sideways. I'm expecting a move to 250. Well, 225 first, and then 250 to possibly three plus on this. This is setting up great. Look at the volume on this. Heavy volume here. Big trend down. What's the next move? Up. So. Look at that if you have time. Look at that stuff. All right, let's move on. RNWK, let's take a look at this. All right, what is this stuff? This is Real Networks Communication Services. No news on this since January 5th. Market cap 79 million. Uh, income minus 17 million, sales 93 million, float 20 million, it's a pretty good float. So reading down on Finviz, uh, digital media application services, media segment offers real player, media player software enables consumers to discover, play, download, manage, and edit digital video, stream audio. Okay, you get the picture. So company was founded in 1994, headquartered in Seattle, Washington. Let's take a look at this stock. All right, monthly we have on this stock, 1997. You had two splits, 99 to dot com. Look at this thing, month to 380. Well, it was a split, but they've had actually one, two, three splits. And then this came crashing down. Look at this pyramid play, I call it. Pyramid play is front side goes up in the pyramid. It's like, oh my God, we're going up so high. It keeps going. Then drops the backside and there we go see it this one completely up to two to whatever it was at that time the 380 went way back down incredible so since 2001 this has been a, a dead pretty much a dead duck here and you can see in the weekly 525 we're going down we're going down this looks like it bottomed at this tail in march is huge 32 cents so it's another reverse head and shoulders in a lot of these stocks so March looks like right now, one of the best times to buy again since 2009. A lot of these stocks bottom. Not all of them are you know, up where the all-time highs or anything like that. But this is another incredible move. So you can see here this bounced. 75, 2, 125 line back and forth for months. And then we're breaking out. Look at the volume. The last four days, this got over 160, went to 250. So what are you looking at on this? Um, yeah, if this keeps going, I don't know how far a lot of these stocks are going to keep going. No one does. But you can see here 275 to maybe 325 plus on this. some lines here. Look at this 125 line. Then you're looking at this 175 line. So see this back and forth. It did make it to two back in May. Back and forth. That is a huge channel here. As it gets this 125 line right there. See it? Back and forth. Tried many times at your 175 line. Now we broke up. Good volume. You want support in this. If this does come back to hold that, about 175. You know, even before that possibly. So that's a big spot there to hold. You don't want this to go down to here, you know, back in that channel. So. This is another stock on fire. Take a look at it. All right, BHAT. This is Blue Hat Interactive Communication Services. They signed a three year license agreement with Cup of Cosmos Studio for use of. Wugahang Wunshai Intellectual Property, whatever that is. 
It was founded uh, 2010 based in Exian, China. It basically promotes, produces, sells animated toys, game features worldwide. Let's take a look at this stock. The stock went all the way up to 6 plus. This was uh, 2019, came crashing down. We went sideways weekly. Like a lot of these stocks are bottoming out. Big volume coming in now. So cash 6 see that going up. Let's go to the daily, see what we can find here. All right, this was a wedge down. See the wedge again? You broke out. Didn't break out violently straight up, but in May, this really took off. New low took off. And eventually, this faded, though, again. But it was a good move after the wedge, breakout, falling wedge. All right, so this line's important. This is 75 line. You can see here another wedge. This is breaking out of it. I'll take that out. So unless you're looking for more lines here, and it looks like this uh, 150 line is pretty big. See this back and forth? You had major volume bust through this 150, but see it didn't hold? Bounce back, bounce back. Look how many wicks came back. So you have a channel here. You have a channel back and forth. And then the next move should be up again like these stocks. They're all on fire being pumped until they're all being pumped until they don't like anything else. People think this is going to go on. It won't. They'll get a violent crash pullback. Who knows when? But so look for this to try to break 150. Yeah, you know, if we can't get over this 150. Um, right here, you want this to hold this 110 or 1 line even. See, it could pull back here, it's fine, and then go back up. You just don't want this to go back all the way to 75. Then it's like starting over. It'll be a great time to get in 75 probably, but on this run, you want constant pullbacks. You want dips, dips. Or if the stock just goes straight parabolic, you know, it's pretty tough too. It could be a very parabolic move on some of these. So look for that line. If it does break 150, you know, you have clear skies here, 175, 2. It's not back here till 250, really, in three. So take a look at that on BHAT. All right, this is a BVXV, uh, Biondon Vax Pharmaceuticals, float 0 0.18 million. Income minus 33 million, market cap 63 million. They announced appointment of Amir Reichman, Reichman new CEO. Um, clinical stage biopharmaceutical on developing and commercializing immunodulation therapies for infectious disease, primarily in Israel. Its top candidate is M001, the peptide. Phase three for influenza virus found in 2003. Headquartered in Jerusalem, Israel. And I believe that's the, the drug that did fail. So this one's a tough one. I, mean, I don't know if that's their only drug. I think that is. Um, so not no news. January was the new CEO. We'll see what he does. New CEO, maybe he'll get some gets in the COVID space. He should, if he's smart. You want to get in the COVID space. And where we're at now is. Yeah, you get back to the monthly on this, you can see this has been around since like 2015. Big move up 2020. You can see on the weekly here. Yeah, this went to 10, 25, 60, and then the we get the hammer dropped on us. So that was the failed drug on their uh influenza drug, their candidate M001. I believe it didn't meet endpoint or something like that, but Bottom line, this was 40, and then it's went all the way down to about 242. We've been channeling for a few months now, three months. Did break out a little bit here. It was a nice move from 3, 4, all the way up to 650 plus. Now we're coming back to this line. You want this 5 to hold here. This is the bottom of the gap, pretty much. You want here to bounce. Maybe there'll be some news, and we can get to a higher level. Now, the only thing I see here. There's nothing back here. I mean, here it looks like a wall at 10, maybe 13. So if this can keep moving, look over 5 plus. 
this falls into the gap. You want four to hold at least. You don't want to go all the way back, back down to 250. But this is his pure spec. If they don't have that drug proved, they have no other drug. If I'm wrong, uh, check in, uh, put a note in my YouTube. But yeah, this has so much blue sky up here. If this gets in the COVID space, partnership with something. If they're smart, they will partner with someone somehow. I don't know, and get like COVID space. The stock would rocket. But, you know, who knows? So this is a pure spec and keep on watch. Anything you have with these stocks nowadays. MBRX, uh, Molecular Biotech, 55 million float, market cap 65 million, income minus 18 million, no sales, no news recently. The clinical stage, pharmaceutical company focused on development of oncology drug candidates, uh, anamycin that is in phase half studies. It's got a phase one WP. 1066, a 1234, 70, 32, 1220, 1066. It's got agreement with the University of Texas, uh, Cancer Center, Emory University, Mayo Clinic, University of Iowa, Medical University of Janskek, University of Bergen, uh, WD Pharmaceuticals, WPD, development of various drug candidates. It was founded 2015 Houston, Texas. So they have a lot going on here. Um, are they in the COVID space too? Yeah, they're in the COVID space. They got a lot of good things. So this came back 2016 with the nine, went all the way down. And the weekly, let's see here, take this out now. Take all these lines. I don't see any um, splits. Now let's see a bottom line on this. So it looks like we have 50 cents. They have a 50 cent line is very big. And then this three line is very big, longer term. See this three line? So this washed down 2017. Look at me, Wix. Three, three, another one. 2019, another one. Yeah, your bottom. So we're basically in a channel. You can call it a wedge too. Uh, descending triangle or wedge. And on the daily, let's see here. You can see major Wix through. See this trying to get this three. So three is a big line up there. But before that, we have the 160, 150, we're battling 70. Right now we're in it at one line, the all-important one line in penny stock land. So we want this to maintain above one and then get to 130. I would say this 150 line is very big. You don't want this to fall below 90 and 80 cents and back down. So sort of hovering here. And this 150, again, is a very big line. See this back and forth. Yeah, there's lines all over the place, but it's a big line right here. You can see it falls back. So look for this. If we can break to 150, maybe break higher, maybe positive news. So it's looking very important. Another stock that's looking like it's basing here, and then we're going to get a move up, I think. All right, so that's it. Please subscribe to Mike Cam and Trades on YouTube. Smash the like button. Trade ideas, referral in my link. Twitter, MikeFrank007. TikTok, MikeFrankII. Instagram, MikeFrank98. Stock quits, might came in trades. And leave any comments in my YouTube, you know, ask about stocks or anything, because I'll try to comment back. All right, that's it. Have a good night. Peace.